Today I'm going to be working on this coffee table and I'm actually going to be using a technique that I have never tried before. So you guys get to come along for the ride. Welcome back, or if you're new here, my name is Katie. I am the owner and artist behind Salvaged by K. Scott. I run my very own business right here out of my home, painting and restyling thrifted and found furniture and home decor items. This table was gifted to me a few weeks ago by a family friend. When I got it, it was actually an antique kitchen table. It's a little bit of an odd size, I feel though, to use in a kitchen. It's pretty small for a dining table in today's homes. So I took it upon myself to chop off the legs and bring it down to coffee table height. So to take advantage of all of the worn character that is already on this piece, I thought I would try out a brand new finish for myself anyways, and that is crackle. So a crackled paint finish is absolutely nothing new to the painted furniture community. It's been in and out of style for quite a few years now, but it's one style that I've never actually tried to create for myself. In order to achieve the crackled effect, I'm going to be using this, Crackle Medium from Country Chic Paint. To get this table ready for its brand new makeover, all I've done is chopped off the legs. I just measured down from the top, down each of the four legs, 16 inches, and cut it off with a handsaw. Then I went over the whole piece with some 220 grit sandpaper, just to scuff up the finish a little bit and make sure that all of my new finish has something to hold on to. I've gone ahead and read through all of the directions for this Country Chic Crackle Medium on their website, and it looks like all I need to do for step number one is apply the Crackle Medium all over my project with a synthetic bristle brush. I do need to be careful not to overbrush, and once this is on, I need to let it dry for at least 12 hours before I apply my top coat or color. If I don't let the Crackle Medium dry thoroughly before I go ahead and apply my top color of paint, I run the risk of it not crackling at all. So I have finished applying a generous coat of the crackle medium all over my table. Now I just need to be patient and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow morning. All right, it's the next morning. I was patient and let my crackle medium dry thoroughly overnight. Now I'm about to go in with some country chic paint in the color lazy linen to go over the top. The instructions for this crackle technique say to just get your paint on there fast, any which way, get it on there and be done with it. A thicker paint application will result in larger cracks and a thinner application of paint will result in smaller, finer cracks. So if you want a sporadic crackled finish, you need to use a sporadic brushing technique. You also want to be really careful not to go back over your paint once you've brushed it on there. Don't try and go back and fix any brush strokes. Just let it be what it's going to be. Thank you. 
there is nothing neat or precise about this paint technique. It is meant to look totally organic. All right, the sun is beaming in here. I am so in love with all of the texture on this table. I'm just gonna go in now with some 220 grit sandpaper on my sanding sponge just to knock down any of the high points in my paint and we'll see where that leaves us. So there are a few areas on the top surface here that are just a little too brush strokey for my liking. So I'm gonna go back in with a damp brush and go over one more time. I may lose some of my crackling, but I'm okay with that. You can see here I used a mister bottle just to wet down my surface. This allows me to move the paint around a lot more freely and get a really fine feathered out effect. This light wash of color over top really just helped tone down the contrast between the wood underneath and this beautiful linen color on top. Since this is a coffee table and it's going to get lots of use, I'm gonna seal it up with at least two coats of Country Chic's clear coat. All right, now comes the point in the video where I need your help. I would love it if you all that watch this video could help me get this channel up and running nice and strong. If you could take the time to please leave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if that's how you feel, also, leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think, what you'd like to see in the future. Make sure that you also share this video or any of my videos with friends or family that love home decor and DIY. And of course, tap that subscribe button so that you never miss an upload. Thank you so much for hanging out with me again today and I will catch you guys next time.